Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sir Dinger and welcome back to more sims. I, I feel like last episode was kind of like laid back, well too laid back for my my enjoyment. I'm just making sure I am so close to being able to actually afford something to give my sim more life. He is currently one week away from death, one week from becoming an elderly person and once you become an elderly person that's pretty much it you're doing. You've got a problem with the environment, we'll clean the bloody place up and come on. I hate to have to tell you this, Rex. Avoid that new boo. But okay, I I I said it was a. Hmm. Anyways, all right. Let's make him some lunch. I've decided that I'm going to treat these more as podcasts because podcasts can be fun. So, I've decided. Also, it might be a good idea if you want me to talk about a specific thing. Let me know by messaging like commenting on the topic you wish for me to discuss and my opinions on it. So for the sake of today I'm going to be discussing the like the idea of relationships because right now I'm currently in a situation whereby I'm considering the possibility of moving in with my girlfriend and she's like we've got like a long-term relationship well not a, well yes long term and long distance relationship and I just thought it might be worthwhile to you know talk about it since a lot of people like especially some of my friends who are oh, speaking of the devil I'll quickly tell her that I'm in the middle of recording right but yeah so the idea is is that since obviously you don't get to see each other the idea everyone comes up with is oh well you probably just be cheating on you all the time which is false actually the idea is the main idea you've got to have is that you always trust the other person but obviously some people can't be trusted I'm not saying all long distance relationships will work out it's all about trust if you get nervous and think they're doing something behind your back then things will start going south and I mean you don't want anything to go south because you know you love this person and I'll just be a sec uh, there we go okay anyways so obviously you know you want to you want like, if I, if I were to give you a few tips, what I'd say is, tip number one is trust each other. Uh, and by trust each other, I mean always have not like, kind of call each other and, like, kind of see each other or talk at least once a day. Now, talking could be over messages, talking could be over camera, you know, anything. I would also recommend that, uh... You find an activity to share because you know and you can get like you can kind of do things together. For example, me and Deborah both play games, so as a result, we play games together. Another thing is I'd recommend setting aside at least one day a week whereby it's just you and your partner or your long distance relationship person. Where it's, you can literally just spend time with them and them alone. Because this will essentially just kind of give you that sense of privacy as opposed to constantly being with your... Oh, she got promoted. Nice. Anyways, it'll give you that sense of privacy whereby if you're sat in a call constantly with your friends, you won't exactly get a good sense of that because you're constantly talking with them around. So you'll always have this idea that you can't really have a serious conversation because otherwise... You'll just be treating your friends like you're th like the third wheeling. You're quite tired, actually. Right. You don't care. Okay. But, yeah, you get the idea. Oh. Right. Well, you know what to do. Have a, have a bath and then take care of your child. Because, you know, get the important things up with first. But, yes, you get the idea. So, that's what, that's what I feel like you should do. I mean, you don't have to follow my ideas anyways, because by 
there is it's unlikely that I'm actually like I know what I'm talking about because I've never had this kind of relationship besides the one I'm currently in and I mean I'm, I'm doing the best I can there's not really a lot to talk about well there is a lot to talk about it's just the things I talk about I can't think of what I'm trying to talk about because I'm just so good at what I'm doing another thing is that kind of listen to each other so for example someone says oh if one of, if one of you says oh I've had a really bad day you don't just go oh that sucks here's what I did on my day it was pretty good you ask the person what was wrong in the first place so you know this will generally help keep things together in a long distance relationship because then not only can you get an idea of what happens in their day they can also get an idea of what happens in your day this this is another reason why a snapchat is actually really good as well because it gives you that sense that you can just keep someone up to date with everything that's going on while they're there and this is nice it's a nice feeling now oh you're getting close play and hold and do, do, do something cuddle and then you're going to put her in her crib because you're going to go make robots you're going to make many you're going to make a munchie bot but yeah that's about actually, that's actually about all I have to talk about on it I mean by all means if you got any other questions ask me uh, it's probably stuff I just couldn't think of while I was talking about this but yeah if you got any other questions just ask and I'll answer them best I can so I'm actually considering the possibility of making a like updating the kitchen since I now have more money to do yeah, so and that would be great right after you finish this munchie pot you're gonna go to bed because you need to go to bed you could do with going to bed right I'm trying to think of uh, another topic actually <laughs> uh yeah sure I got my job I read my job actually here, here's a question so what would you do if you like actually there we go that's another topic doesn't matter I was about to ask I was I was started asking a question which I then didn't know how to end so when it comes to YouTube right now you know you have the, you have Markiplier Markiplier enjoys the belief that you can essentially anyone can become famous on the internet you just need to put in enough effort while this is true the game you get the issue whereby for example some people just have lucky breaks end up becoming like end up getting all of the recognition they deserve within a short space of time for example they may have someone post one of their videos on a website and then next thing you know BAM they're famous even though they only have like five videos meanwhile you've got people out there you've got like a hundred maybe it's a thousand videos and nobody knows who they are besides the friend besides the friends and one subscriber who just happened to find them and it's unfortunate that this is the case because for example someone like me let's say all I want to do is keep people entertained and I can't really do that if everyone's too busy watching other people for me to entertain them as it were because you know if they're, if they're going somewhere else and I can't have any influence on that then you know there's nothing really I can do and there's nothing I can attempt to make people happy about if I'm trying to I really don't know where I was going with this topic but yeah uh, I should probably just talk about the game so I'm playing The Sims. I don't actually even know if I yeah I did do my outro. I'm sh I'm sure I did I, I'm sure I did my intro even. 
But if I didn't, my name is Sidding and I just started randomly babbling about long term relationships. In fact, you know what would be really good? If I was able to start making TF2 videos again. Because I really like TF2. In fact, at one point I was actually planning on uh, doing some Cards Against Humanity because I am not a nice person when it comes to that game. I am quite possibly the worst of the worst. Oh, this Baba has a problem. The Baba has a problem. Now, I would, I would also like to know, is there any games which you'd want to see me play? Because if so, then just, you know, tell me. Because if you tell me, then I can maybe just play them. And I also like the idea of, like, the fact that someone actually, you know, wants to keep updated with my videos. I mean, I believe at the, at the making of the, at the time of the uploading of this video, I have 13 subscribers. Which, you know, I've had like, I think the most subscribers I've ever had was about, in fact is about four more. And that was on my like original YouTube channel, which I just did nothing with. Because it was more like kind of that channel which I do nothing with and it's just kind of there for me to, I don't know how to describe it without sounding like I am harsh. Uh, it's just, it's really that, it's this, the channel I've had since day one. It's just the one I happen to subscribe to everyone on. What a good week it's been. Good. I'm, gl I'm glad you've had such a good week. Right. What do you need? You want to buy a car? I would buy you a car, but you cannot afford a good car. Oh, you want to take a shower? Take a shower and take and use the toilet and then have your breakfast. And then resume building that. I just realised I said resume. It's not resume, it's resume. Like actually that's a that's a video I could do on that right, another thing, face cam. Would you like face cam? And if so, I will attempt to find a way to make that work. If it doesn't work, then I so I'm sorry, I can't do it. But if it does work, then great. But more to the point, I understand a lot of people will probably be like, "Oh, you know, he's he's got like a pretty boring voice." If you wanted, I could actually. Oh, I could do with either extinguishing that or, more importantly, running and calling. The uh, emergency services would do. Stop panicking about it. Jesus Christ, man! Go and bloody. There, cool. don't. <laughs> These guys, just, he is just the worst. He's the worst human being alive. Oh. There we go. See, that could have been avoided if you just bloody went and sorted it. You idiot. I swear to God, he's just destroyed progress. Are you, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with this? You are an arsehole, Rex. You, you could have went and called called the fire rat, fire service and got them before. <sighs> My God, Rex. We we didn't need to lose that money, and you just panicked and let something burn down, and now we don't have any money. So that, that's what you get. You just, right. Oh. Yes! Right, good. At least we're getting money in after your bloody idiocy, Rex. I will make sure your grandchildren know about this idiocy. Where's my promotion? Yes. That's right. Uh huh. 
And now I've got to spend all of the money I just earned. There goes the majority of it. Wait for it. There we go. Look, I spent too much. Too much. That's how I. That's how much I spent. Right. So my idea. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a design I usually go for. Actually, which is. Uh, I'm gonna undo that so I have money to do this. I usually go for kind of separating these because it looks really nice. And potentially. No, that wouldn't work. I think a fence would be better off. Depends on the fence, I suppose. Right. That would not. Oh, that. Hmm. Would that work? That might actually work. The question is, what colour would I want it? It's that more of an outdoorsy thing. That would look quite nice, I would say. Possibly Yeah, I'm definitely going for that. That seems like it could be very nice. That could potentially work. Right. We haven't got a lot of money. And I think I might end the episode off here. Now it's it's been a very strange episode. I've just been kind of babbling on about anything that comes to mind. In fact, you know what you need to do? Let me take a bath. You need to not starve or burn the kitchen down, you ble bleeding idiot. Okay, do you think you can do that in making a sandwich? Oh look, you did burn the kitchen down, well done. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna make him go finish making that munchie bar. And once he's done that, then then he can, uh... Once he's finished making that much about... Then he can... Come on! Oh, I didn't go to work! Oops! Oh, well, I got paid. Come on! Come on, I'm almost done! Oh good, she's taking care of it. Pause, pause. Right, come on, you got to change that paper. More than happy. Put, put her in the crib. There we go. Right. Now, next episode is going to be a race against time, because he's only got six days before he becomes an elderly. Do you know what you should... Oh. That bastard. He stole my sandwich. It's not cool, man. It's not cool. Deborah's gonna become a... A, uh, a toddler in the day. Anyways, I would like to thank you all for watching. My name has been Sir Dinger. Not every episode could be as action-packed as this, but I will try my best. Um... Subscribe to become a true sir and keep up to date with everything that I post. Leave a like if you enjoyed the series. I just realised I did that in the wrong order. Doesn't matter. Anyways, good day. Have a nice day. And I will see you next time. I'm talking about sex, you shouldn't be doing it, man. That's a... Would you, would you stop, stop talking about that? You bloody redhead, stop, stop talking about it. Let's just...